three parts to a cigarette. There's an e-cigarette, there's a battery, which is the power plant, and they come in different shapes and sizes and with different, uh, some of them are variable voltage, some of them are, are fixed. Um, there's a tank that holds liquid, and uh, they're, they're inside the tank there's, a, there's a, uh, a coil which heats up to vaporize the liquid, um, when you, and it's the vapor that you inhale, and there's a tip that you draw the vapor through, and the only other thing is the, is the liquid itself. The liquid, we call it juice, and it, uh, uh, they come in different flavors, uh, from tobacco on to kind of exotic flavors, um, fruity things, uh, just basically to give people an alternative. When you smoke a cigarette, you've either got menthol or you've got tobacco flavor. You don't have too many choices in between, and uh, with vaping, you actually have a lot of alternatives. They didn't get real popular until two, two and a half years ago, probably, and since then, the market for E6 has been expanding very rapidly. I think it's because it's a viable alternative to smoking uh, conventional cigarettes. Since we've been in the business, I've seen a high degree of, uh, of interest, a lot of curiosity. Um, most of our business is, uh, is from referrals. In other words, people come in here, they get started on e-cigs, and they go tell their friends. They, when they go outside for their smoke break at work, um, there's four people smoking and one person vaping, <laughs> and the next thing you know, they're talking about how the vaping goes, they're trying it, and then they want to come in and try themselves. So, um, very, very high percentage of our business, 85, 90% is referrals now. We see people from their 20s on up to virtually any age. We have people that have been smoking for 35, 40 years who transition to e-cigs, and, and, you know, there's always a motivation. Fear is a big motivator. And when people uh, start visiting their doctor after many years of smoking and getting reports that aren't very encouraging about their uh, life expectancy, um, fear kicks in. And even if, they, even if they love smoking, okay, you know, they're, they're, they'll end up in our store at some point, many of them, uh, having made up their minds they need to do something. By the time they get here, they've usually tried the patch, Chantrex, Nicorette gum, they've tried everything else. They've tried to quit cold turkey. And the ones we see are the people who didn't succeed in any of those, uh, in those other possible avenues of, of quitting. People do come in all the time and say, I've been vaping for two months now, I can't believe the difference. I rejoined the gym. I go up the stairs to my house, I don't have to stop halfway up and pant, breathe. Even people who smoke for many years have reported anecdotally very, very rapid uh, recoveries in their, uh, in their respiration, you know, and their stamina. Well, a lot of people thought smoking is glamorous. Look at this. Look at Audrey Hepburn. Look at uh, Cary Grant. You know, um, it turned out to be glamorous and very unhealthy. So, uh, I think some of the glamour wore off pretty quickly. Are e-cigs glamorous? Uh, it's always in the mind of the beholder. I think if if you think it's cool, I guess it's cool. You know, uh, I think it's cool not to smoke and be healthy. It's much cooler to vape than to smoke uh, because you know, I know what you're putting in your body when you vape. And even if we don't have long-term studies, it's, they're going to come out a lot better than what, what happens to people who smoke real cigarettes. I hope everybody just quits. If they quit, then we don't have a public health problem of any kind. Um, however, understand that nicotine is a lot like caffeine. It's a mild stimulant. It, it's, the, it's, the, uh, it's, it's the component of cigarettes that draw people in and keep them locked in smoking. Um, there's nothing attractive about cigarette smoke. Apparently, there's over 300 carcinogens in cigarette smoke. Um, but nicotine keeps you tied in to the smoking. You can get nicotine by vaping without getting all of those unhealthy uh, chemicals that you ingest when you, when you actually smoke. Well, the future is going to be, the future is going to be non-smoking. Whether it's vaping or not it just depends on the role of the government, I think. Those people will, people will, are migrating to this business, um, or to our products, rather, uh, by the droves. In fact, the projections for 2013 were, were that there'd be a half a billion dollars in sales for e cigs It turned out to be a billion and a half and growing. Okay, so I think you can tell by the proliferation of e cig stores and the uh, integration of e cigs into uh, traditional tobacco shops and stuff like that. There's a demand for it. That's a demand-driven uh, presence of e cigs It's not somebody coming out and saying, "We've got a whole bunch of e cigs to sell. Why don't you all try it?" It's people asking for it. And so it's being provided to them by people like ourselves, you know, who set up businesses to service that need.